Hey, welcome to this uh, Windows channel and we will have a little tip and trick video today and answer a question how do you prepare for the Windows 10 upgrade I've been getting a lot of questions people saying oh do you there's is there something you know special I need to do what should I do before I upgrade to make sure that everything is fine well first of all you'll have two upgrade paths you'll have the possibility to erase everything and start fresh with a Windows 10 install that is really really cleaned and no you know software or any of your files will be there it's like just having a brand new computer basically and that's the option I'll be using and it's the option that I recommend really because nothing like starting fresh with a new copy of Windows it's always faster it's always much better and you know you just reinstall the software and put back your files and folders so if you do that well what you'll need to do of course and what I'll do is you know go into my different folders here on the left uh, the desktop documents downloads music pictures and video and I'll be sending that to a hard drive an external hard drive by right clicking clicking send to and when my hard drive will be plugged in I'll have right here below where there's nothing yet um, you know my external hard drive I just send everything there and keep all of that the second thing that I'll be doing is checking in the uh, programs and apps I'll be going in through all the apps and programs that I see and I'll be taking note of everything I want to have to reinstall in Windows 10 so that's basically the way I'm gonna do it uh, you know just transfer everything my pictures my videos my music, my documents, and of course, I'll be reinstalling only the software I use. And you know, that's the best thing you can do because, face it, let's face it, you know, this computer that I'm using right now is like a computer that's two and a half, if not three years, almost three years old. And you know what? I've not reinstalled Windows in this since I bought it. And look at all the crap that I've, you know, installed with the years, apps and programs here. A lot of stuff. And frankly, I don't use most of it. So you know what? I'll be only reinstalling what I really want to have in my computer. And that's the best way I think it's going to work. Of course, it demands a lot of work because some software are not easy to configure, not easy to set up. Sometimes you have to tweak and play around before you can really achieve something. But that's the best thing that you can do and what I'll be doing on this Windows 8.1 machine. The second option you'll have is to keep everything, including the programs. That's the option that a lot of people will use because it's going to be easier. You know, you'll be in Windows 10. Everything is going to be there. Uh, programs are going to be there, your settings, and so it's going to be easy because you don't have to tweak too much. But it does come at a price. The more software you have, the more the possibility, the more possibilities of maybe having some kind of problem in the upgrade. That's why I don't like that one as much. But still, you know, for probably the majority of you, everything will be fine. Still, I do recommend, even though you do an upgrade and keep everything, still take everything you have in your documents, uh, downloads, music, pictures, videos, everything you have you want to keep and put them on an external hard drive or a thumb drive. Very important because something can go wrong and frankly you are taking a chance if you're not making a backup before you upgrade to Windows 10. It's very important. The other thing that you should do is go into your programs and features. Check out the list of all the programs you've installed on your computer. And everything that you have installed that you don't use, uninstall it. Say, I don't use this airport thing anymore because I don't have any more airport router from Apple. So I'll un uninstall this. And I say, yep, yeah, I want to un uninstall this. And, you know, uninstall everything that you have you don't use. Go through that list slowly. Of course, be careful to uninstall only the stuff you know that, you know, what they are. Because you can uninstall drivers sometimes. 
just go through that list and install anything you are not using anymore. I think that's going to be the best thing you can do. So go through the list and uh, just make sure that everything's removed. And once you've done that list, then you're ready. You just have to wait for that little message that's going to say, okay, um, I'm going to, you know, install Windows 10. It's ready. Here it is. And so um, that's how it's going to work. Basically, just, you know, remove the things that you don't use anymore because we all do the same thing. We frankly, we all install software that we want to try or something that looks cool. And then at some point we get, you know, to a point where we just don't use it anymore. And I've actually have a lot of that in this machine. And you know, after two and a half years, in my case, it's time to reinstall fresh. Um, usually I would recommend to pretty much everybody that's a heavy user of a, your computer, you know, once a year, year and a half, reinstalling Windows is actually not a bad thing. You know, you'll get your speed back and everything will be much faster, actually, if you install from scratch. So uh, two options, and these are my little tips and tricks on trying to make the transition from Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 the easiest and bug-free way possible. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you might um, you know, have, maybe your own tips and tricks, why not share them with us? It's always nice to have your feedback, and you guys are great. Thank you. Why not give us thumbs up? It's always fun to have thumbs up on our videos. And hope you're going to follow. We'll have you know dozens, dozens, and dozens of Windows 10 videos coming up. Lots of stuff are going to be tested. And uh, it's going to be really, really cool to see. So thank you for watching.